guys looking at the neo chart it's turned the 8th 8th of november 2024 guys 50 coming up to 54 minutes past midnight on the 8th november 2024 let's look at the neo chart guys Wow, going to the moon ish. Neo chart, guys. Pre market for the eighth or after market. Seventh going into the eighth. Going up, guys. Moving up, moving up, moving up. Neo stock. We're on the uh, 30 minute chart here. Of Neo and um, yeah obviously like you know the current price five dollars thirty three cents it's not going to reflect on your um, your portfolio until the market opens not unless of course you're trading after market prices but you can see, you can see that it's pushing up to bordering basically 5.39, which is just another cent. Actually, it did touch 5.39 and then came back down. So it's pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. Pushing up a cent here and there, penny here and there, guys. Look at that big move, that big, huge move. Everyone was worried about tariffs. I mean, look, I've got a theory about, well, I'm not, well, it's a theory, I suppose, but I think I mentioned it in a previous video somewhere, but I, I don't fear, I don't fear the tariffs. First of all, I don't think there's going to be tariffs. I think it's a lot of scaremongering. Secondly, which is a connected point, I think that the, um, you know, the manufacturing in America, you know, cost of living, you know, the, 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 the inflation is risen at least, what, I mean, 50%, would you say, roughly, you know, Everything's like 50% more expensive since 2021, 2022. It's only like two years. And um, what for? Why has it suddenly got expensive? You know, wages, salaries, they haven't risen really. I mean, if they have, not by much. They're not keeping up with inflation. Inflation's still rising, guys. And this is the point. I just read an article earlier on. Um, Nissan. Nissan slashing jobs. Laying off uh, workers in the UK. And it got me thinking, you know, as we watch the Neo price rise here, it got me thinking, why are they doing that? Because... What they're saying is that, you know, they're blaming demands. They're saying that, you know, high hybrid, the demand is basically reduced. But really what it is, it's production costs, guys, production costs. And this is where Neo steps in. Um, Neo, the company, they're taking it, you know, slow, you know, steady, steady as they go. Where it comes when it comes to expanding in the West, especially like, you know, making moves into America, they are ready for the deal 
guys, the deal. They're ready for the deal to push into America, but it's got to be on their terms. They're not going to try and force it. Basically, what's going to happen, I think, it's just not financial advice. But I think that you're going to see a decline in production, not just with, say, Tesla, but other car manufacturers in America, because it's too, too costly. Everything's too costly. And for years and years and years, you know, things been imported from China, including vehicles, you know, for the last, what, 40, 50 years or whatever, at least 40 years, you know, cars, vehicles have been imported, not always from China, but from the Far East. So now, China, you know, the manufacturing is the powerhouse of manufacturing. They can ramp up production at any time when needed. And I think I mentioned it as well, that the war is going to come to an end soon in Ukraine. And... Politics is changing in Russia, or will change. And what you're going to see is like massive imports into Russia of Neo, it's what I think anyway, Neo vehicles to Russia, into Ukraine, into Eastern Europe. And at the same time, you're going to see the big move into America. Because they need it, they need, it's going to be, look, at the end of the day, it's cheaper and less, you know, it's, it's basically cheaper, look, vehicles are going to be cheaper and less hassle, they don't need all that manufacturing to do that manufacturing. I mean, it, even like when you look at, in the UK, in Europe, a lot of manufacturing went to China. It went to China, guys, a lot of manufacturing. If not the whole vehicle, the make, like Jaguar, Land Rover, you know. If not the whole make, a lot of the parts that make up vehicles went to China, guys, went to China. So, obviously, it makes sense to import you know from china look even the chinese it makes sense to import from china but even the chinese they don't want to set up like it's it's co more cost effective to build the cars in china right it's more cost effective to build the cars in china and import them or rather export them from china to wherever you know america the west for uh, you know Middle East, Africa, you name it. So why, why set up um, manufacturing in the West to pay all that, you know, pay all that hyperinflation, all those costs? Why, why bother doing that when you just got to export them? And that's what's going to happen, guys. It's going to get so costly to build in America that you're going to see closures and that's where Neo step in to meet the demand but anyway look at the stock price moving up see what moves up and then it comes down a bit and then it moves up higher you know, if we ex extend it you can see that say like here like it's the 30 minute chart like, you know, one hour, two hours, three hours, pushing up, three and a half hours there, then four hours, goes low, and still goes the same level, green, 
even when it goes down in a half hour, it's pushing back up. It's a good sign. A good bullish sign for Neo. But the question is, the question is, did you buy? Did you buy more Neo shares at five dollars, guys? That's the real question. Did you buy? Because the price was coming down, there was people selling. What were they selling? They were selling from that dip. Sorry, from that spike of seven seventy, coming down from that seven seventy. They were thinking. We change the chart onto the day chart here. What they were thinking was, oh, they were holding, holding as it was coming down. They were thinking it's going to make another move up, and then they were still sort of holding. And they might have even held to here, then it spiked here, and they thought, yeah, it's going to go back up, and they were holding. And then, of course, that news, you know, about the, the election and. Tariffs. The tariffs tariff news was already there. It was tariff news was going back ages ago before even this spiked up. So tariff tariff news in relation to Neo or any Chinese manufacturers, EV manufacturers or whatever manufacturers, it was all a red herring, guys. It still is a red herring, in my opinion. Right? Neo you know, prices is still spiked up, and um, anyway, that's when they got anyway when the news kind of like got more mainstream, repeated. Let's say that's when the fear set in, and then the price dipped. You know, but low four by uh, five dollars, it went four eighty three. 484 thereabouts and that's when you know that's basically people selling um people that had probably bought at four dollars probably sold at five dollars you know because it was hovering around there just above five at five just below five and then it dipped bit lower 583 and that's what I think happened then others loaded up others like myself you know I loaded up others saw an opportunity loaded up there might have been some waiting for it to come down at four dollars to buy but I knew I said in my videos I don't think it was going to go down to four dollars not unless there was going to be a stock market crash, but even then, it would probably fly up. But you see, what's happened now, it's recovered to that range again. That range was, as I said in one of my other videos, that range was like to, from 550 here, that dotted line where I'm marking it. It was between five fifty and basically five five dollars, so it's still within that range. It, it needs to break five fifty. It needs to spike up high, a lot higher than six. The next move, I'm kind of like predicting it will go to around eight on the next move. But it's hard to put a day on it when that moves, when that's going to be. But kind of like thinking that it could be, it could, if it doesn't make it today, the 8th, Friday, then I'm thinking it still could go towards 6 on Friday, then make $8.00 next week latest the 22nd i'm thinking eight dollars eight fifty latest the 22nd that's just my prediction it's kind of like in a way it's becoming more 
more powerful that I said that yesterday and the day before. Because even when it was here and hit here and here, I said it was going to probably spike spike down before it goes up and that's exactly what happened the next day the spike you know it dropped it fell below five and then it spiked up the very next day here uh, it's what happened is exactly what i said would happen so i'm thinking anyway that i can't really predict after what you know after it goes eight eight fifty nine how far down it will come back but i don't think it will go lower than kind of like 640 it's probably going to hover around 640 once it goes up to 8 859 that's what i reckon anyway so the point is it's going to leave a lot of people who are waiting to get in a lower price like if people waiting to get in at 450 say they, they they might not ever get it now they might not get it you know when has tesla ever gone down to five dollars since it spiked up you know never so that's the thing guys, people got to make a decision. It's not financial advice, but people, investors, they've got to make a decision. Are they in or not? And, um, and that's the point. So let's see if I'm right. I've, got, I've been right so far with Neo. I haven't put a foot wrong. I have not put a foot wrong in my predictions. So let's see if I'm right next. <clears throat> and that's the thing. Like, traders are going to be, you know, if traders go in long, they make a bit and they cash it. They're going to be kicking themselves when it goes a lot higher in, into like 15, 20 dollars, you know, in the future. Especially if they're not holding any NEO stock for the long term. You know, I mean, in a way, I don't blame them Look, if they're going long for a quick, you know, for a swing trade. Fair enough, but they're not going to be getting any dividends etc so i don't blame them like they don't want to be holding forever paying overnight fees and whatnot but if they haven't bought the actual stock the actual shares of neo then they could they could regret it like if this you know if the price of neo flies if it, you know, if it starts making higher highs rapidly, say over the next 18 months to two years, I think they're going to regret it that they didn't hold, you know, they didn't buy shares in Neo because you know, sixty dollars. That that would seem cheap. <clears throat> you know, when it starts flying, if it does fly, that will seem cheap. Sixty dollars. Current, you know, shares an issue. Some say three, four, five hundred dollars could reach even higher and it's possible it could even reach at the current you know shares and issues possible it could got it could reach um a thousand dollars and that's really a low estimate i mean a low high estimate like if you if you're talking about a higher range a 
thousand dollars is at the low end of the um, scale. Mid range would be five thousand dollars. So let's see what happens, guys. But as you see, it's moving up. This is pre market forty eight. And it's exactly made a move, <clears throat> made a move like I said it would. And that's the 10 minute chart. Still trying to push higher. There, as I say, there it made ordering, you know, $5.39. So anyway guys that's what i think yeah don't forget to like like the video leave comments share the video and um check out the other videos